Oh, now I'm fighting a zombie. St what? Never mind, we're good. Squeeze and blood rush. All right, I'm getting a little worried about the word choice here today in this stage. What? Are you kidding me? This doesn't count as a fucking emergency. Well, that explains a lot about this game. Thank you. JTV, look at that. Ah, the banana protocol, my favorite of the protocols. <laughs> did, did, did we just wall run? I'm the only one here who gets to shake their money maker on that fucking stage, bitches. Mmm, sold on that voice acting, by the way. Absolutely amazing. Why? What's going on? What? Okay, never mind. We just wanted to stare for a while, apparently. Clown trebuchet! That would be a very effective weapon in this game. We need a clown. Whoa. We need a clown trebuchet. It's decided. Oh, that works too. That works. I'll take that. Looks like closing time on a Saturday night out here. Ah, mutants in the middle, my favorite TV show. Although it gave me a blister, apparently. Damn, that imprecise octopus throw me off. Damn, that ice cube melting device ruining everything for me, too. Jesus. Oh my god. Damn that tedious finger action. <laughs> Maybe not today, though. Hilarious Paisley accident. My god, these are all insane right now. I'm loving this. I'm pretty damaged, though. That's the only downside. Oops, shit. Santa Claus is coming, apparently. Zeus is not merciful, let's be honest here. Come on. Get some health. Ah, dog ate my homework. A well typed sentence for anyone in school. Shit. Uh, W chip. Oh, hey, you assholes in the tank. Why don't you try using that fucking thing? Doom and tights. Ugh. And the Pope and his lovely slippers. I feel like I'm learning a lot about this game and life. Skies of Arcadia, there it goes. Uh, Sega throwing in some references to their own games. That's disgusting. How can they 
do that with no barbecue sauce? Oh, come on. Mort Saloon. I feel like this is probably gonna be where the boss is. Whoa. Such hubris! Such hubris conducting that philharmonic. Blah, blah, blah. God. These are all tongue twisters try to say aloud, too. Barla, look. There's your bike. No fucking keys, though. <laughs> See, the service here hasn't improved. All about the potatoes. Madonna kebab? What? Hey, why? Oh, yeah. Bunch of freaks. Oh, all right, here we go. Cutscene. Let's see what comes up here. I have no idea what happens in this cutscene because this this chapter is from the director's cut of House of the Dead Overkill. Right. Which one of you bitches has my fucking keys? Damn it, Cindy. Have you lost weight? Where's your little fuck buddy? <laughs> Look, Barla. Look at Cindy's stomach. Oh, fucking gross. Oh, God, that's nasty. What Holy we fuck. We take those bitches down. I apologize. I did not know this was going to happen. I'm so sorry. Miguel, also, that's creepy as fuck. Don't. <laughs> All right, let's kill this boss quickly, please, dear God. Hope you guys didn't want to sleep tonight. God knows I don't think I will after watching this. Uh-oh. Good, good dodge. Let's get that one wrong. Someone time at LVAX, please. Thank you. I was wondering when they're gonna make a joke like that. It's been a while since they made any. Like, is the other boss just not gonna do anything? Is it just kill the other one? I don't entirely mind. Come on. Damn it. You bitches never could dance. That is it, right? Please no more. Please no more. Oh, thank God. Oh no! I knew they'd have to do that! Fuck! Still 
you'll be in one piece or I'm gonna come back and kill you fucking bitches all over again. What happened to them? How did they get like that? Damn if I know, but I bet that sick fuck Caesar has something to do with it. Where is he now? Being chased by two asshole cops. Then we should go after them. No, kid, it's too dangerous for you. Jasper wouldn't want you to risk your life avenging him. But Papa Caesar killed him. Tell me something I don't know, girl. Well, Jasper had this thing oh my God. he needed to do where I'd... Uh... Fuck, I don't need to hear that. Now let's get you the fuck out of here. Then are you going to try to find Papa Caesar? Listen, sister, I don't try anything. I just get up and do it. And when I'm done, that fuck will be dead. Now come on! Riding into the night, a trail of carnage, mayhem, and devastation behind them. Driven by a single desire, revenge. Oh my god. So I apologize for that chapter, because this is part, this has the content from the director's cut, and I had never seen that chapter before, so I've I've beaten the original game on the Wii. That was a B. Only 91% accuracy. I Alright, I'm good with ending Overkill, and I have a feeling a lot of you guys are probably also good with ending Overkill right now after that. Jesus. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Edit, edit, edit. No, don't go back into another chapter. There we go. Ballistic Trauma. That is one of the older chapters, at least. They call him only G. They call him only G. And the original House of the Dead Overkill, like the light gun game, is also available here, too. But if you don't want to just type. Well, that was a thing. Jesus. All right. <laughs> it's good if you like cheesy games, and, I mean, I love cheesy games, so that's why I like Typing of the Dead and House of the Dead Overkill, but... I did not expect that fucking chapter. Holy fuck. All right, let's get ready to go to the fortune cookie. Let's see, what do we have available to us tonight? We have Wii U downloads. We have the Wii U. We have the PS3, PlayStation Network, Wii, Xbox Live Arcade... Uh, WiiWare, Virtual Console, Xbox 360, Xbox, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, Dream Dreamcast, N64, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn, Game Boy Color, Genesis, Super Nintendo, NES. Those are all the systems we're going to be pulling for tonight for tonight's Fortune Cookie. And for those of you who are brand new to Fortune Cookie streams, uh, I'm sorry you started with House Typing the Dead Overkill, but um, <laughs> here's how it works. So, someone who's on straw poll duty, which I assume tonight is either K-Head or Dan. I don't know if any, either of them are in the call, or either of them are on the stream. I should probably have checked. Dan is on stream. Sweet. Okay. So, the way it works is I get... Uh, I pick three random games out of my backlog, and I suggest a fourth, and usually there's a fifth, uh, and which is usually Bomberman. So, you guys vote on a straw poll link that will be dropped in the chat by Dan the Enigma. You guys vote to see what game we play next on the stream. So, our five choices tonight are Bomberman Act Zero Multiplayer... Um, my personal vote, or my personal suggestion is going to be Plock. I'm going to suggest Plock, because honestly, I have not played Plock. So I feel like I'm going to suggest that. And the other three games that you guys get to vote on are as follows. Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones for the original Xbox. The Adventures of Lolo for the NES. And finally... Boktai, the sun is in your hand for the GBA. I don't know how well that's going to work when we don't have the sun. I'm in Canada and it's kind of 1030. I'm going to jump back over to the stream for a second. Boktai can actually be played without the sun, but it's just difficult is the best way to put it. Is Boktai an RPG? I thought it was an action game. Either way, here are your five choices. Make your vote, and we'll see what we end up playing. So click on the link that uh, Danny Enigma is dropping in the chat, and then you will see this pie chart here, which lets you vote on what's coming up next, which I conveniently just made go off screen. Plock is winning. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. We've got 400 votes coming in so far. 
Uh, Plox at 39%, Bomber Knight Zero is at 25, Boxai is at 19, Prince of Persia is at 9, and Adventures of Lolo is at 8. I feel bad for Adventures of Lolo because it's a really good game, but it's a puzzle game, not the best for a stream. Plox is almost at 41%, it's trying to shoot back up. Bomber is actually losing percentage to Plox, surprisingly. Boxai not really getting much ground, Prince of Persia and Adventures of Lolo just kind of sitting underneath the 10% mark. I'm going to give it 30 more seconds, but I have a sneaking suspicion that the tonight's game is going to be Plock. This probably means I should start getting that game ready, huh? 15 seconds. Five, four, yeah, I don't even need to bother with countdown. It's very obvious, we're playing Plock, and indeed, Dan, you did spell it right. All right, so here's intermission, the way this works. Uh, I'm just gonna run some ads, which basically means this is your chance to go use the washroom, get something to drink, do whatever you want, and when we come back, this gives me enough time to set up the SNES, make sure the cart's clean, and we'll be playing Plock right after this break, and we'll probably have someone on Skype call too, so see you guys then. All right, NBA Jam, you're out. What's up, man? Hello. Hey. God damn, I love typing in the dead. I had no idea about that second chapter. Holy fuck. I didn't know either. I was literally I opened it when I saw you start uh when I saw you change your title to Typing Dead and I opened and started playing it. Uh, but I'm not cool, I played it on easy just to get used to it. Um And then I didn't realize they patched in the multiplayer. I know when it released the multiplayer was not in there. I think they said it was gonna be a month and then they were gonna release the multiplayer, so I guess it's been about a month since typing the dead overkill's been yeah. out. Oh nice plot. They patched that sure. in and there's DLC for Typing the Dead now. Wait, there's DLC? Um, it, it adds Shakespearean, uh, the greatest Shakespearean works. Oh so my god. So instead of typing random sentences, you type lines of Shakespeare. That is brilliant. Holy shit. That is fantastic. I think it's like two bucks, two, three bucks. The DLC, oh, the DLC actually does cost. Okay, I wasn't sure if they were doing that. Yeah, it, I mean, it doesn't suck, but it is, I, I don't know how much content it is, I just know that it's you typing Shakespeare, but I feel like that kind of ruins it a little, unless you really like Shakespeare, because the sentences you get normally are hilarious, where I don't think Shakespeare sentences would be quite as funny. Oh, I don't know, just typing forsooth, or like, uh, for light would yon be on, I can't even quote it anymore, forsooth would light be on... By yonder window breaks, it is the east and Juliet is the sun. God, it's been so long since I've actually read that book. Or that play, I guess I should say. <laughs> Shakespeare of the Dead. Shakespeare of the Dead. Dude, come on, that'd be awesome. I just love that this game came out again. It's like, it wasn't announced, wasn't at all speculated, and then come, come Halloween, I'm like, Typing of the Dead came out again? Yeah, here's the thing. Uh, Sega didn't advertise this game was coming out at all. It literally came out the day of. The day of release. No word. Like, the first word that the game was coming out was the day the game came out, which was amazing. 
It threw everybody off. It was so funny. It came out two days before Halloween, and I was just like, I need to buy this game, like, right now. The game, I'm just reading, I looked up, like, Typing the Dead on Wikipedia to try to figure out a couple of the voice actors. Um, the game began development at Blitz Game Studios, and in September, they were liquidated, but they their last request to Sega was them to finish the game. <laughs> hey, at least they did so it. So this... Go ahead, sorry. No, I said, at least they did it. That's all I was going to say. Yeah, and, like, can you imagine your last, like, Studios efforts are can I please finish typing of the dead? <laughs> Apparently I spelled plock as polk. Good job, John. Alright. Welcome to Plock. Plock is a platforming game where your weapon is your body. And by body I mean your arms and legs. You literally throw your arms and legs at people. Clock's house, one fine morning. What a fab day. Nice and quiet. No worries. I'm glad the text is gigantic. Hey, something's wrong. So it's like Rayman, kind of. Where's my big square flight? Oh man, people already remember the lines from this. All right, people already know like the most entertaining quotes from this game. I'm, I'm psyched to see how the rest of the chat reacts to it. Is it, should I just skip this? Who's got my flag? You'll be sorry, whoever you are. Tux Prowess for gaming. Thank you for subscribing. Here is your egg. You will give me an egg. And these are pretty much uh, previews of all the stages that this game has. So you're basically going to be going through all these worlds if you play the whole game. Also, some sweet, like, Uniracers level of music. I think my phone's gonna hate me by the end of the month. Why? What are you doing to your phone this time? Ten days I've used six gigs of data. Jeez, dude. <laughs> I've unlimited, but still six gigs in ten days. That is kind of ridiculous. Four gigs of that is Twitch. Are you watching this on Twitch right now, or or just other stuff you've seen no. this week? Yeah, other stuff I've been watching on my phone. John uploads Sonic from last night. Why would I upload Sonic from last night? That wasn't that entertaining. Alright, so here I am on Plock. I throw all my limbs and just slide around on my torso. So this supposed to be like a super jump or something too, isn't there? I forget how you do that. Oh. Nope. Yeah, A is a dedicated spin jump button, apparently. I believe if you get hurt when you've thrown all your limbs, you actually take more damage than you would if you just got hit normally, because the health meter's at the bottom. Or you die instantly. I forget which it is. Probably both, knowing this game. Someone asked in chat, you can watch Twitch on Twitch, the website, on Xbox 360s, and on Apple and Android devices. I think Xbox One's got it enabled as well now. Okay, and Xbox One. Hey, this I is that came out. Yeah, I know most people. <laughs> most people kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I found my shorts instead of my flag, so I guess I'll go to the next stage. Twitch on Android is garbage. It's not the best. Yeah, there's definitely much better apps. Oh my God, what did I just do? It actually got pretty. It got better with the last iteration, where it got chat and. Uh, just oh, it, optimization. oh, it now has chat? Yep, Android, uh, the last last update or the update before that got chat. I, I appear to be a boxer now. Uh, okay, good job, Block. You punch everyone in the face. With your never-ending supply of arms, apparently. Actually, funny enough, Demonic Hero, uh, Pornhub fully supports the Wii U as well. Wait, what? <laughs> Pornhub supports the PS4 and Wii U. There you go. That's how you know they're going to win the console generation. <laughs> I don't think Twitch is on PS4, Pikachu. 
Um, but I don't own one. I can't. So. What's going on? Damn it! I thought this was. I thought this was actually supposed to be the the one. I guess maybe it's this one. I'll get that flag this time. <laughs> People are asking, how would you know that? Because it was on like Kotaku and like in Gadget and stuff. Oh god! Oh god! The fuck? That was not what I expected at all. Oh shit! Because I had no legs, I slipped. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like they. It's almost Quotes like they thought the this century. game through. Quotes of the century. I I slipped because I have no legs. I've heard worse reasons to slip. Leg, having no legs, pretty legitimate. Legitimate reason yeah. for not being able to stand still. Did I really do all that just for those power-ups? Did I just seriously get myself killed? Oh my god. Are you serious? Cool. That's awesome. Think of all the cool score you just got, though. Oh, that sweet, sweet score. I'm gonna enter the. gonna do some score runs for Plock now. <laughs> Get Twin Galaxies on the phone. You, know, you have to pay to apparently apply for Twin Galaxy Records now. They're still relevant? I didn't even know that. Yeah, well, I mean, they're bought by Guinness, so they bet they kind of want to be. Mm. So they're, most people... they're relevant in their own way. In the act, as far as the gaming community itself is concerned, they're not relevant at all. But, but as far as Guinness so... is confirmed, concerned, yeah, they are. So when I think of gaming records, I think of, like, SRL, not really Twin Galaxies. Most people don't. DragonX611, thank you for subscribing. Here's your egg. You will give me an egg! Why, you watch me throw all my limbs at this weird butthead. At least I think that's what it's supposed to be. And I have no idea what this diamond is, because it wasn't invincibility. I'm seeing Cotton Island, and I'm thinking uh, Cotton Alley from Meat Boy and Springing Back Nightmares. Oh god, yeah, no, I would not compare this game to Meat Boy. No. Not even close. It's just oh, purely based on Cotton Island messing with me. Alright, here we go. This should be the moment that everyone's been waiting for. I'VE BEEN DIDDLED AGAIN! <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking when they, when they put that in the game. <laughs> But they sure did. That is certainly in there. Yep, there we go. Most people did not know that was in the game. <laughs> Proper reaction. That also brings up the question... When did when did that happen the first time? <laughs> Untold stories about Plock. <laughs> all the backstory. Yeah, all that deep, heavy continuity in the Plock universe. Hyperhandra says oh. Plock is now a, f a fiddle that has been diddled again. Also, now I have a blunderbuss. <laughs> Sweet, sweet blunderbuss action. Guard, this is making... Oh, that's nowhere near as good as the previous line. You look like Sherlock Holmes. I... How do you get Sherlock Holmes out of that? Wait, when you had the gun? Oh, oh, okay, I see what you mean there. Because of the hat. You know, I get the feeling something fishy's going on here. I just can't quite put my oh. finger on it. Dragonfire, subscribe. Dragonfire20, thank you for subscribing. Here is your egg as well. All the eggs are flying tonight. You will give me an egg! Alright, everyone apparently enjoying Plock being diddled again. Bringing up some question <laughs> questionable questions about the chat tonight. <laughs> 